Hey guys, I'm Amarok and in the last tutorial we have set to no GitHub so it can run now. So let's talk a little bit about data no Git uses. This is my folder which is used as a data folder and as a project folder for my Nugget. What does it mean? It means that Nugget opens all those MPQs here in data folder. It opens uh, in order MGB MPQs, then these data MPQs. So it opens them in the same manner as a game client does. Then it takes a look into its projects folder, which is here again, it is the same folder in my case. And it opens also DB files, client folder and word folder. What does it mean? It means that if you have outdated, if you have any custom MPQs here, they are opened as well, obviously. But if you have any outdated data in DB files client or in word folders, Nugget will open that outdated data instead of opening data from uh, your data folder. So always keep all your up-to-date DBCs in DB files client in your projects folder of your Nugget and always keep your up-to-date modified and custom maps in this work folder. That's quite important. Okay, having said that, we can run Nugget now. So notice that the Nugget has uh, separated maps into dungeons and content and terrain and so on and so forth. How does it do so? Well, it simply opens a uh, map DBC. So here we've got our map DBC. So it opens it and gets a whole list of existing maps. Those maps are also marked as continents, battlegrounds and so on. So it gets a whole list of maps and then it looks into its word folder and into its data folder and tries to find WDT files. Let's just go to log in Nogit. And as you can see here, some maps don't have WDT file. It couldn't be found. So it has opened only maps which are in map DBC and which have WDT file. And which uh, have WDT file which contains any ADTs to be accurate. So now it has filtered those maps and I've got only maps I can open and edit in Nogit basically. So let's open any of them. Let's for example open Eastern Kingdoms and go there. Just a small side note. This Nugget is uh, the newest beta version I have at my disposal, so it isn't a final version, it isn't still released yet, it can change. Everything you see here is subject of change. Okay, so what can we do in Nugget? Well, the first and the most important thing is in help many key bindings, and that's it. This is how you <laughs> use Nugget. Just try to use all those keybinds here and you will see what is what, basically. Uh, in file, these can be called by keybinds. In edit, these can be called by keybinds and auto select mode. I personally don't use it. I've never turned this off. Uh, view many, well, here are some options which can be called by keybinds, for example, wireframe. Is certainly nice. You can also use this toggle menu for uh, displaying and hiding certain elements of map as you can see. So that's what uh, this toggle menu uh, or view menu is, this, this toggle part. And in assist menu we've got huge variety of quite nice features. For example, create water and whole ADT, clear water from ADT, clear duplicate models, uh, clear models or uh, clear textures completely and so on. This can be quite useful sometimes. And uh, here we've got our two uh, our tools. So we can rise and lower terrain, for example. We can flatten it. We can blur it. We can paint textures. Uh, we can basically create holes like this. Holes are being used for cave entrances, for example. We can change area ID. So 
we can pick some area from somewhere and paint it here or we can pick our area from here or we can just paint parental area or remove our area so let's for example put Westfall here or wetlands here sorry and so on so that's our ID paint you've got impossible flag impossible flag is for making chunks impossible so this will be this will behave as one invisible wall basically you've got water added so we can for example change water settings a little bit light edit isn't implemented yet as far as I know you got shader editor so let's just use this now this is shader so we can shade vertex this is basically a vertex paint so you can shade our terrain without uh, painting textures on it and we've got object editor and in object editor we can toy around with our models so that's pretty much it when you uh, create your map or modify your map you can access this map by pressing M key and these white LEDs here which are marked these are edited this will be saved when you press ctrl s so now I will press ctrl s map will be saved and now I can close Nogit and I can access my tutorial folder and here in word folder maps if you don't have word folder it will be created you don't have to create it by the way word maps and map name in my case it's azeroth so eastern kingdoms is azeroth map basically and as you can see it is exported wdt file it isn't changed at all it is just exported and we've got our adts here great so now we would like to see our changes in game how to do that well you need to create your own patch in your game client so i've got here my game client i will create a new patch patch a let's say and now you need just to insert your word folder into it or you can just create a world maps folder in it and insert just one map you want to have there you don't have to always insert all maps you've got obviously or even all ADTs you can insert only some ADTs if uh, well for example now my nugget has changed three ADTs and let's let's say that I want to revive some of those changes well you don't have to use all of those ADTs you can just delete one of those ADTs let's say this one let's delete it or let's delete it from here and now all changes on that ADT were basically reverted because now it will use a blizz like original version of that ADT because I have deleted it from my patch. So this is how to add some modified ADTs to my client. That's how to revert them to blizz like version. Now does it work? Well, let's open game client and maybe I will open Nugget again just to show you one thing. One last thing I would like to show you in Nugget. So I will connect to my local test server. Get up and running for now. Yeah, it will get a little bit laggy now. Okay. So here we've got our modified area. Just notice that in this ADT, was it that one? Yeah. I have deleted this ADT, so I have reverted it to a blessed like version. I have raised water here, and it is now back. So reverting those changes worked. And these two ADTs, I have kept them, so these are still modified. So I have created a new map, or I have modified something, and I want to get there. Well, how to get there? There, is, there are these server coordinates, so we will use them. So, dot go xyz and minus 
150 to make it a little bit higher then we need orientation I always choose just one and then uh, we need a map ID well map ID for azard map is zero you should just remember map ID of your map so it's zero for me and it's obviously a different number for different maps you can always search map ID in your in your db files client in your map dbc so now i have teleported myself to my modified area and as you can see vertex paint is here so it works and that's pretty much it this is the way of getting into game and uh, seeing finally your changes so on here's our flip house yeah so it worked fine and here should be somewhere invisible wall I don't know where if I put it yeah here it is our invisible wall so yeah it worked so this is the way of running Nogit modifying areas and getting in game and seeing your changes I hope this was useful for you guys happy modding